What's up, guys? Um, new display, which I'm not gonna be too worried about. I'll just show a different time, but I'm gonna show you what I picked up um, at the Midwest Computer Festival. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut this video as much as I don't want to, but I still have some stuff in my car. I will talk about what I got that day that it's here still. Um, so I went to the Midwest Computer Festival, it was about an hour and a half drive, and then I went to pick up this. Got a keyboard and a mighty mouse, okay? It looks normal, you know? No. Wireless. Wireless. Um, I drove like a half hour north to pick those up. Um, and actually, they got boxes, so very cool um, that they're boxed. And then I drove about an hour south i guess you'd call it from that place to pick up this before going back up to the chicago area um to do some stuff with some friends but this is an imac g4 i'm installing uh what are you panther no yeah panther 10.3 right now um it's at 800 megahertz whatever 15 inch screen whatever small screen which is fine it fits in this area just fine as much as a 17 should be cool um so yeah, I guess I'll talk about what I got recently, so I don't know if I ever made a video, but I picked up that one right there. Um, it's Tangerine slot load, I mean a uh, tray load. So uh, yeah, I previously picked up that one from Milwaukee, that, that Tangerine, and then I picked up this one. I went into Chicago and picked up that one as well. Um, it was, the guy was really cool. We were talking for a little bit where he didn't want to like... Um, he was asked if you could put a monitor computer, and I was like, you could be a pain, but you technically could. He's like, oh, okay. I just told him how people like get them and they make them like cat houses or lamps or whatever. I think I said. I think I know I told him about the cat houses. And he's like, oh, and he wasn't like a fan of the cat houses. He like thinks they're ventures. They shouldn't be uh, taken apart and start like uh, destroyed for stuff like that. Which I totally get. Which it was cool that he was um, cool about that. So I'm glad I got to give it a nice home. It's in pretty good cond condition, and it came with the keyboard and mouse. Um, it also came with this Epson printer, which I do not need. That will probably get donated. I don't need it. I don't want it. And I got this cool bin that I don't need either, which I'll give to my brother. He can use that for hydro dipping his stuff. It's a big bin, no holes. So yeah. Obviously the strawberries down there. Bondi, tangerine slot, lime, indigo, and then both my iBooks are up top. And then I put my cube here when I got this secondary sh um, shelf, which is 30 inches instead of the 18 by 18s that these ones are. Um, and they put that there. And then I want to use the wireless mouse and keyboard. Hopefully it works with this. Hopefully it has Bluetooth. I'm not quite sure if it even has airport. I'll have to check. But I'm really happy with the display of how it's set up. The chair's got to go. My buddy's going to get that. So I got to drop that off his house one of these days. But yeah, here it is. Here you can see it all. I gotta get rid of the scrap metal like I've always said. I might actually do that when I get the chair gone. And then I'll have a lot of space. I'll throw a couple of computers back here to store. A lot more space to walk around and get to the toolbox. And I'll be really happy. Um, I don't feel like going out to the car to grab the other stuff, but I'll tell you what they are. One is a Sunray One, look that up. It's a little tiny thin profile, or a uh, thin client. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but it was 20 bucks and it was intriguing, it looked cool, cool stand. Don't know if I can use it without a server. So it might end up getting sold if I can't use it, which is whatever. And then I picked up another one of these. This is a Performa 575. Uh, the one I picked up is a Performa 578. It has a good motherboard. And these motherboards are good for like Mystic upgrades for all uh, color classics like that. And I didn't want to ever sacrifice that one. So yeah. Um, another update, I got all my stuff together pretty much, I believe, and put all my iMac G3 stuff in here. Phone case, because it all matches. So I, yeah, I got all the keyboards, mice, and then all the like different floppy drive adapter, USB adapter, all different Bondi colored stuff or whatever. Anything color matched to these machines. Um, one thing I do want to note that I don't know if anyone ever noticed, I think this is Bondi, and this is Blueberry. I never knew they made them in two different colors. I, I don't know. I'm sure, like, this is Strawberry. 
my strawberry never came with the mouse but i would assume my strawberry would have came with a mouse that looked like this but it would have been pink and it would look more like this um not as clear color like this orange not as clear and then you got this one that is a lot more clear i guess that's a good way to show it yeah not clear and clear clear so yeah there's something i thought of this is probably from a grape slot load because it's more clear but yeah i guess at the computer festival which is pretty cool um there's a lot of cool stuff maybe i'll throw some pictures yeah i'll throw some pictures at the end of this video um but crazy ken was there lgr was there and the ibook guy which i guess he's called the uh eight bit guy now i've known him as the ibook guy since forever so i'll always remember him as that um but they had their stuff out and it was pretty cool like you had the um wood grain computer i don't know if the ibook guy had anything any displays i know i looked at all the displays but i'm not sure if he actually had any himself but then uh oh, crazy ken had his g3 clear bondy slot load thing um prototype which it was pretty cool seeing in person actually got some pictures of that um and there was someone who had the collection of the ibooks i talked to them a little bit a couple people with some cool um not sun um the other weird server company um that i've always liked but like the octanes and stuff i wish i could have gotten a hold of some of those things those have been cool um he actually had bought some for they had really cheap prices on them but i was not going at nine o'clock in the morning so i didn't get there till about 11 because the 11 or 12 12 because the presentation that the three guys had was at 1 30 i believe and i wanted to be there for that so i got there at noon and wandered around and then went around after it was a busy day it was a tiring day i didn't need to go there any earlier than i did you know but yeah it's the thing that isn't even in as good a condition as this one is i mean could swap panels if i need to to this one but the other one's just kind of scuffed up a lot more than that this one a little more i don't know if i want to say sentimental value but a buddy picked that one up versus me just getting this from a guy that tends to pick up stuff from jobs and then i sometimes buy them but yeah um almost bought one of these um another box graphite really thought about it and i may end up doing it again the guy has a repair shop so i may end up doing that but it was tempting but then all my stuff gets this stuff would have to be going away there'd be no way i could put three boxes and also have the stuff on top of here you know um i, I don't need a third box as much as i would love to have another boxed imac i have no space i'd have to start tearing these boxes down or something but I'd rather not because I want to keep all the styrofoam in them and stuff, you know. Plus, these are two of the cooler colors. It was just a graphite, which would have been cool, but it's the other side of the box with, like, the, the side that's the, this picture on it or something like that. A similar picture with, like, the 5 IMAX. Okay, I'm probably boring you guys, but that is all. I'm going to get back to installing this. I don't know. It's probably going to take longer than I'd like. Um, so I'm not going to worry about making a video for this hoping i can get the video to pop up but oh well all right thanks for watching here's that uh performa 578 that i was talking about um can't remember if that's oem or not i think it was like some wire i'm not entirely sure it's in all right shape definitely kind of scuffed my other one's a lot more mint um yeah scuffed all over it's not really worth keeping I don't know, I'd hate to part it out, but it might end up being what happens, because 578, I think, kind of rare in itself. Never even heard of the 578, that's like a weird number, you know? Um, so yeah, it might end up getting parted out, may end up keeping it. I just don't have space for another big CRT, that's the deal. I'm lucky I'm able to collect the G3s, which is kind of, I'm trying to get my collection to one specific thing, so we're going to go with the G3s. And then the compact Macs, which are pretty much done. I actually almost picked up a regular Macintosh Classic, but it was kind of beat. But it's only like 40 or 50 bucks. It would have been a good deal. But then I'd have to figure out what to do with the um, other Mac SE that it'd be replacing on the shelf. And I kind of want the stuff on my shelf to be kind of more mint condition stuff than anything. 
So, because it is going to be a display. I'd like to eventually have that in like the living room. And when I move out or whatever, it'd be pretty cool. In like a corner, you know? So that's kind of why it's on that industrial styled shelf. Which I don't know if I've ever even shown. I can't even remember. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.